Six of them. That's a lot of ring necks. <laughs> Just flipped this rock right here. I had six ring necks, and typically they have a yellow neck ring and a yellow belly. This one's orange. Even its neck ring is pretty orange. That's pretty cool. Awesome. A little bit of variety in the color. When we walked up, there was one laying right here. It went right in there. And then the big black ones over here with her, her babies. Some of the babies already went under the rock. See? Oh, no, a, a little bug jumped on it and it ran away. Mm -hmm. like, oh god, something touched me. We're probably gonna see more. Yeah, we might see some more up here. Milk! Eastern milk snakes are pretty common out here on the Appalachian Plateau when you find nice open areas with nice big flat rocks like I have here. I just flipped this rock and this big milk snake was under it. Unfortunately, it's in shed right now, so it's very dull looking. And this individual is also kind of dull overall. I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. We've been doing pretty well so far. We've already found three different species of snakes. Uh, timber rattlesnakes, ringnecks, and now a milk. Uh, we'll see if we can find some more today. All right, we're out herping Maryland's Appalachian Plateau. Now when it comes to herping, timing is everything. We usually only come out here during the late summer when conditions are right because a lot of the herps out here can be very difficult to find. And a few of those are fossorial animals which during the heat of summer will disappear underground. One of the species that we're hoping to find today is a mountain earth snake. Hellbenders can also be found in this region, but this time of year, so late in the summer, it's a bad idea to go look for them as they are nesting. All right, well, we got a lot of species we're hoping to find today, so we're going to go ahead and get to it. Urban! Urban power! <laughs> Biggest ring neck ever. Oh my god. This here is a ring neck snake. It's a pretty common snake throughout the state of Maryland and they're usually found under rocks and cover. Um, generally they're pretty small snakes but out here on the Appalachian Plateau we've, we've been finding really exceptionally large ring neck snakes. This one here probably about 18 inches. We've recently been keeping a close eye on the Appalachian Plateau area here in Maryland, specifically on the weather. And when heavy rainstorms come through, it'll bring up some of the fossorial snakes. And this is one of the unique species that is endemic to the Appalachian Plateau. It's the mountain earth snake. Now, they are state endangered here in Maryland, so this is a very significant find for us. And this is just a small one. They don't get too much bigger than this. This particular species of snake is a subspecies of the earth snake. Its main difference from the smooth earth snake is the scales are slightly keeled. Now this snake here, they mainly feed on insects and you, they're usually under cover such as logs and rocks and this one was under a rock, actually in the shade, which was kind of surprising to me. <laughs> Alright, we had a great day herping out here. Uh, we're all pretty exhausted. One of us was even stung by a couple yellow jackets. But we did achieve one of our goals, found a mountain earth snake and saw tons of other cool animals like some timber rattlesnakes and more ring necks than I could possibly count. And milk snakes. Yeah. And, and milk snakes. snakes, yeah. So we had a really great day. Um, Matt and Siobhan also spent some time on the Appalachian Plateau earlier in the year and found several species native to the region. What I have in my hand is a small species of salamander known as an Allegheny Mountain Dusky. They get their name because they can only be found in the Allegheny Mountains which run through western Maryland. And unlike the traditional stream, which you can usually find a dusky salamander, this species prefers dry, forested upland habitat. Here we have a seal salamander. Now this is a species of stream-dwelling dusky, and they're easily confused with other duskies that use the same habitat or are within the same range. Now here in Maryland, we only have the northern dusky that's within the same range, but in other places such as like Virginia that also have the black belly, they're very easily confused, but I can show you one distinctive factor that will definitely show you that you have a seal salamander. Now the seal salamander has black toe pads and no other dusky salamander within its range will have the black toe pads. Fall can also offer a lot of unique herp encounters. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon at camochairproductions.com.